It's not terribly peaceful out here because it is the 4th of July. And there's lots of screaming nearby, people having fun. And it has stormed all day, on and off. Little sun, little rain, little thunder, pouring rain. And the garden is taking a beating. We've had a very, very wet summer so far. My sweet peas are almost done. Just letting them go to see it. And then they'll come out. And I have a Cabea Scandens tucked in here. Ready to take over for the rest of the summer. This Minarda Joseph um, Klein has been absolutely gorgeous though because of the wet we've had a lot of mildew and of course all its leaves fall off but still just a gorgeous thing. My tomatoes and pots on the fence are uh, coming along. Uh, everything is just a bit beaten down or waterlogged. This this slams here does not like to be this wet, as you can see. There it is melting back there, so all that will have to come out. More sweet peas going to seed. Lots of self-seeded um, verbena benariensis. It, it's almost obnoxious, but it's easy to pull out. Salvia starting to come along. I think this one is Wendy's Wish. And I have a black and blue. Maybe almost a little too shady for it right here. But this is a volunteer Budlea butterfly bush. And then I have my pretty flocks. Sedum. Gorgeous, gorgeous Echinacea magnus. One of my absolute favorite things. And it's self seeded. Never seen it do that before. And volunteer um, cherry tomatoes. I had Matt's Wild and um, sun gold there last year, so I assume all these ones on the fence are going to be they. Some other flocks coming along, not blooming yet. Verbena. I have had some zucchini off of the plant in that pot, but it really hasn't done particularly well. Um, the poor fairy is, has been beaten down by the rain. It was looking very pretty. More Magnus. And I should go back there. I have also got cucumbers in a pot and there were some almost ready so I'll have to brave the wet jungle to get back and see what I can find. This pot of Lobelia and violas and sweet peas. Absolutely gorgeous. But the weather is getting it and it's too hot for it. It's very unpleasant out. It's very, very humid. It just <laughs> doesn't make you want to be out. So what I do is I come out for 30 minutes and do some task. Oh no. I should have, I should have um, staked my Achillea, but I didn't, so I'll have to do that. In fact, I'll, I'll come do that in a minute because I don't want it to start curling up the wrong way. Amistad has been beat to the ground several times. My snapdragons have done well. I think it's called bronze. And I have to say, it's not the color I thought it would be. It's more yellow. And then 
we go up to this incredible Hepatorium fistulosum. It's huge. And it loves all this water. As a native, if you really look along the, the banks and certainly where I live in North Carolina, you'll, you will see it growing. And then I have this absolutely gorgeous Procosmia lucifer. I bought one small fan last year and you can see what it has done. It is absolutely one of the most gorgeous things out there. I'm quite excited about my tiger lilies. They are quite as tall as I was hoping. I I have been looking for some years for some that were like one I got from my my grandmother by accident and I think these are going to be they. I had one bubble bull bulb ill. You see them on the stem here. Those will grow new plants. I had one that snuck in with some other plants she gave me and it created twenty years of tiger lilies which I carried around with me but when I moved to New England it was just too far to try to deal with moving plants this is a, a dahlia that's going to bloom here the rabbits have been flipping off the viola I have my salvia farinacea I always grow this from seeds and it's just beginning to want to bloom. More phlox. Verbena. And see through the fence. That's my Rebecca Maxima, one of my favorite plants. It gets very, very tall. And has really nice glaucous foliage which sets it apart. It gives a little interest to the border. And then this is bog sage. So first time I've grown this. My <laughs> my little composter is full. As you can see, I have another pile here. This is another Echinacea. I think this one is Powell of Wildberry. And the rabbits have been quite, quite busy in here. These were um, poppies. And the rabbits have eaten them. They've, they've not bloomed at all. Then I have another sage, or salvia rather, and back there, a lantana. That, that one is called Miss Huff. I've been letting these half mostly eaten poppies go because the rabbits have not turned to their sights to anything other than my violas because these are here. I thought it was going to be mighty pretty down here this year because of the poppies, but that did not happen. So, looking back towards the house, my soggy garden. Still looks, still looks okay. So, happy 4th of July from my garden.